Mr. President, Kyle Jannerman, more popularly known as Kulas and Canadian National, introduces our beloved country, the Philippines, to the world through his vlogs. He has a YouTube channel called Becoming Filipino. He has traveled to 80 out of 81 provinces of the Philippines. In fact, Mr. President, he can speak some of the uh, 87 dialects of this country. And that's why last Congress and this Congress, I filed a bill, Mr. President, uh, asking Congress to uh, finally, Mr. President, make him a Filipino citizen because that is also his desire. So. Brett comes to Katiil, so I leave Katiil and make him my personal driver. Uh, I have to go to Davao, I gotta catch a flight tomorrow morning. But the boys are coming, so we're having a little road trip here. A lot of things are happening in my life that are really exciting and cool. And I'll tell you about them later, but this is interesting. Brett has his Filipino license, so it's good. <laughs> yeah, I do. I got my Filipino license, B. Oh, hi, Tutu. Bye, Brett. Hi, I was back at the house. You're the, you're the guardian. Why is he yeah. Who's got their pillows? <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> Brett's, the, Brett's, Brett's the dad, I'm the kuya, and we got the kids in the back. Kaliwa, can I? Uh, Kaliwa. Kaliwa. You really are Tarzan, man. They're doing some sort of construction at Ali Wagwag, bro. By the way, what do you think of that falls? Stunning. Stunning. Stunning falls. Almost as stunning as our pillows around our neck. Brett, what's the one thing you can do here but that you can't do in Canada because if you do it, you're gonna get beat up? See your first smoothie bowl. Okay, Brett, why are you not eating? I forgot. You need meat. What? You need meat. I need meat. We all need meat. Everybody needs meat. Brett has this specific diet that involves a lot of meat eating. And I forgot, Ting isn't really a meat eating place, so Brett's gonna order some food panda. <laughs> what is Are you getting Brett, Brett, what does food panda mean? Food panda? Yeah. Panda means uh, small guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? Yes! <laughs> so I shouldn't put that in? Yeah, Pandak is like a, a dwarf for no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. The only reason I'm putting this in is because Kumar, Kumar told me that joke a <laughs> lot. Is it bad? It's Bastos? Okay, I Kumar told me that joke a long time ago. I didn't know what it means. Now you know what it means. I don't mean it in any disrespect. Diba? Okay, Jandi, can you can you please explain why we shouldn't use the term panda? Use it in a right way. What's the wrong way? Calling out people panda is not good. Not good? Okay. But you agree that it's okay that I include that on YouTube because it's education, Diva. Right? It's funny also. Okay, well, yeah, because again, I heard that joke from my friends, Food Panda, but I didn't actually know what it means. It just sounded cool. Like the term, Diva, right? it sounds cool, right? A main or two, married engineer's brother. So now we know it's something that's derogatory to refer to people, no? Yeah. So now we know. And we also know that Brett won't eat here because he just wants meat. <laughs> he needs meat. What do you say about that, Ting? 
would find that is the best. Oi, no machine. Dude, I just realized you haven't really been to a proper food stand in like... It's been a while. It's been a while. The, the fruit in Squamish and Texada in Canada is pretty scarce. We just got apples and stuff. Look at this. Oh, Tagum City! I think I'm gonna go for Lanzoni's, man. Kilo and kilo. Kilo and kilo, man. Are you going for papaya, man? In Canada? They're so expensive. Oh, hello. Como esta? Yeah, nice one. Interesting enough, papayas are so expensive in Canada, but here it's one of the cheapest fruits. So, Brad, do you want to see a foreigner mango? Yeah, where's the foreigner mango? Indian mango. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Come on, come on, we put. Are you? Dude. I want. I don't want it to be like. Okay, I gotta pay for my fruits. Lazzoni's and mangoes. <laughs> Meat, fruit, honey, liver, testicles. Where's the honey? <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than this. these kind of finds, man. Raw, unfiltered, unpasteurized, pure honey. And go, it's, because you, you can tell, it smells like it. it. Smells like the stuff I was gifted from uh, Ching, from Malai Balai. It's like that sour kind of- Yeah, nice, man. Fermented. Mm. Oh. Um, you know what? You guys are driving now. You're the shotgun, Kumar's the daddy. <laughs> Let's go to Davao City, see a waterfront. Let's do it, baby. Oh, this is the night market, eh? Famous tag of night market. You can't get through here, I don't think. Oh, yeah, you can. Maybe you can turn left up ahead. Yeah. I forgot, Tagum is bumping. Go, Tagum. Wow. To be fair, Waterfront is actually pretty legit, even though it's one of the older it hotels in Davao. Brett Maverick is rocking his vlog at his desk. We have a balcony out there. Married Engineer's in the house. Hello. And Married Engineer actually had my passport uh, because I left it with him for safekeeping. There it is. Because I'm going to Thailand, so he dropped it off because I fly out tomorrow. Just to Manila, not to Thailand. But thanks, Married Engineer. Sure. sure. Kumar. Kumar. Are you rocking the Tunga? No. Tunga. Sandwich. Do you know what it's <laughs> here for? I'm being sandwiched with two Canadians tonight. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> about driving in the Philippines though, is you can use the force, yeah. like Star Wars. You can just be like this, like roll down your window and go, oh. and then it's like, uh, you use the force and it stops. There he is, look, he's doing it. Uh, no, no, that's just a traffic uh, Oh, okay, okay. That's something, it's like even you're driving, you know, if you're gonna turn out somewhere, sometimes people just like, oh. use the force, so. Anyways, good morning, we're driving to the airport. Uh, Brett's here, so I'm leaving. <laughs> that's not true, that's not true. I'm he's joking. leaving, I got here, now he wants to yeah. leave. Now it's just gonna be me and Kuma. No, no, no. He's leaving for good, actually. He's going to Thailand, becoming Thai. Becoming Thai. <laughs> I have to bring some good clothes. I'll explain it in a bit.
Welcome to Manila. I need to blancha. Not bad, but to be honest, I'm not that good at ironing. Welcome to Lime Resort. Uh, opening the door. It's down by the bay. I think this was built maybe only a year ago, and it's just across from Sofitel. You might be familiar with that. It's over there. View is fantastic at this front room I have. Uh, the reason I booked here is just across the street is the Senate of the Philippines and some things have been happening in my life. I need to go there. But obviously, can't wear shorts in a jersey. So back to ironing, let's get changed. And I'm not gonna go vlog over there, but maybe I'll show you a few clips depending on what happens. So, power on, I'm in Manila. Sometimes people ask, you know, culas, you know, why not take the headband off or wearing a barong? But for me, the most important thing I ever wear is this because it reminds me of my purpose and what drives me forward, what motivates me, what inspires me, what connects me. And so I'm always gonna wear my headband. And there we go. I'm ready. Let's have an inspiring, motivating day. I don't know when I'll film next, but I'll see you in the near future. We would just like to uh, acknowledge and welcome our uh, good friend. And uh, I'm just so happy that he is physically present right now. No other than Mr. Kyle Jennerman, a.k.a. Kulas of At Becoming Filipino. Mr. President, Kyle Jennerman, more popularly known as Kulas and Canadian National, introduces our beloved country, the Philippines, to the world through his vlogs. He has a YouTube channel called Becoming Filipino. He has traveled to 80 out of 81 provinces of the Philippines. In fact, Mr. President, he can speak some of the uh, 87 dialects of this country. And that's why last Congress and this Congress, I filed a bill, Mr. President, uh, asking Congress to uh, finally, Mr. President, make him a Filipino citizen because that is also his desire. So we welcome him and uh, I'm sure a lot of our colleagues wanted to meet him uh, and that's why uh, I thought, Mr. President, this is a right time before we uh, continue with the deliberation of the budget. Yes, before we suspend so that we can approach the good gentleman to welcome him to uh, the Senate, I would just like to put a few, uh, put few words down for the record. Um, I am inspired by uh, his vlogs, particularly his uh, promotion of Mindanao. He used to live in Cagayan de Oro, now he lives in Davao, the Davao region. But uh, the other day, I was very emotional and I almost cried when I saw him uh, speaking in the fields of Cotabato, saying how peaceful the area is how wonderful the people are, how safe it is to be in that area of our place in Mindanao. We thank him from the bottom of our hearts, he being a Canadian citizen. We thank him for promoting our country every chance he can, uh, your honors. Aya, mabuhay po kayo, kulas. And uh, with that, I move to suspend session for one minute so that we can approach the gentleman and congrat and uh, welcome him properly to the Senate. Senate is suspended for one minute. Still very, very emotional. Uh, you would have seen a video clip there of a Senate session and what happened. 
Uh, that was actually unexpected. I didn't think that was going to happen. I had actually never in my wildest dreams I think something like that was going to happen, being recognized on the Senate floor. Uh, so many things I want to say, and I know this has actually been a very sporadic video up to Manila and to that because everything's just been moving and so many amazing, beautiful things have been happening. But thank you, everybody, for yesterday. Every single person I spoke to in the Senate, it was really incredibly uplifting and motivating. I can't talk though because I got a rush to the airport right now. It's the next morning and we got to meet up with Thereen and hop onto a flight to Thailand because I got to go to, well, a really important thing. So, from Manila, back to the airport and we're flying out over the ocean towards Thailand. Going to Phuket. The last time we were in Bangkok, 2017, and we are in Bangkok for four and a half hours at the airport now. We're heading to Phuket for a really awesome event that I'm going to be talking at. So maybe in a bit we'll see you when we find somewhere to stand by here in the airport because we got some time to kill. Thai milk tea. Thai milk tea. <laughs> Isn't that cool? There. Yeah. <laughs> so, had no clue, but if you fly Bangkok Airways, like we have uh, the connecting flight from here in Bangkok down to Phuket, there's actually a free lounge. You don't have to pay anything, and they have free Wi Fi and, and snacks and coffee. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang out here. And I'll see you when we get to Phuket. They're in the work mode. Interesting. Suman Thailand style. I think there's raisins inside of it. It's really strange. Unique, like it's, it's good but strange. What is that? Oh, like the queso and what is that? Like the queso woman looking for. What do you call that? I don't even know what that is. 